So today we're gonna talk about trout and salmon. And the and reproduction and life cycle of both of those. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna start talking about the life cycle of trout. And they have four stages, which is eggs, elven, fry, and adult. So this cycle will begin in November to February where the female will lay her eggs in a river gravel also known as reds and uh, the male will release sperm to fertilize it so the gravel must be between 10, 10 to 40 millimeters and must be loose and free of sleepies with plenty of uh, oxygen flowing through them so after about five months these eggs will hatch into alvin which is fry attached to yolk set to their bellies and they will feed off that and after they completely fed off a yolk sac, they will develop into fry. In this stage, they become more solitary and territorial, and they are capable of feeding on their own. So after this stage, they will become adults, and they'll live in a place where they can get food resources and that they can hide from predators. They will live up to 5 to 20 years. I like the trout, the salmon life cycle consists of many stages. Egg, elven, fry, small, and adults. In the egg stage, salmon eggs are laid in the reds of a stream or river and are fertilized by the male. After they hatch, they become alvin, where they have yolk sacs attached to them for them to feed off of. Then they turn into a fry. They emerge from the gravel and feed off of insects and small organisms. Next, they go into the small stage where they undergo physical changes to help them survive in their environment. When they become adults, they migrate to the ocean where they grow and mature. Now I'm going to talk about the reproduction of rainbow trout and they reproduce by laying their eggs in gravel nests called reds during the spring. Female trout will build a nest using her tail and deposit her egg in the nest while the male will Fertilize. fertilized eggs hatch into alvins which remains in the gravel until they absorb their yolk sacs and become free swimming fry. These fish grow into juvenile trout repeating the cycle when they reach maturity. So I talked about normal trout and rainbow trout and the difference between them relies on their spawning behavior. The difference between them is that rainbow trout usually reproduces in the spring while Normal trout usually reproduces in the fall. Now I'm going to talk about salmon reproduction. Salmon reproduction begins with the adult salmon returning to the freshwater streams where they were born. This migration is known as spawning. Once they make it to their spawning grounds, the female salmon dig nests called reds in the, in the riverbeds using their tails. They then release their eggs into the reds and the male salmon fertilizes them with their sperm. This process is called spawning or breeding. After fertilization, the female covers the eggs with gravel to protect them from the predators and to ensure their survival. The eggs then go through a period of incubation which, which typically lasts several weeks or months depending on the species and the environmental conditions. Once they hatch, they go through the life cycle and eventually end up right where they started. Similarities between the trout and the salmon reproduction. Some similarities are that they spawn in fresh water and then they also migrate down to salt water. Um, the eggs that they lay, they both lay them in the reds, which are the little holes that they dig with their tails. The incubation, they both incubate in the gravel for a period of time, two to four weeks for the salmon and then two to six weeks for trout. And then the larval stages, both of them go through larval stages, as in like the alvin and then the fry. Now I'm going to talk about the differences and salmon migrates further upstream than trout to spawn. Salmon also has a more complex spawning ritual and their eggs are larger and take longer to incubate than trout eggs. Trout populations are facing numerous threats due to human activities, which can impact the reproduction and overall populations. Some of the key cons conservation concerns include habitat destruction and fragmentation, water pollution, overfishing, climate change, and invasive species. To address these concerns, we should implement sustainable fishing practices, reduce pollution, and study the impacts of climate change. 
on child population. I'm in. See you, dog. Above CC spawn in freshwater streams. Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God.